Guys, I found the ring I want to get my girlfriend, but the problem is it's one million dollars and I do not have that sort of money. So, hopefully when I go out today, um, something will just hit me and I'll be able to get it for a bit. What? I can win one million dollars by just catching a barrel. It's a revelation. I know what I can use. I'm good at maths. So I can use those math glasses given to me by Miss Tan. Right, I'll be back. I'm ready. I'm at my local pool right now. and I'm getting ready to wrestle the neighborhood croc. You wonder why I'm doing this? I'm just a bit of my muscle. I want to reel in this million dollar fish and I am ready to rumble. <laughs> We've arrived at our secret barrel location, but since I know nothing about fishing, we have my friend Madison to teach me. Okay, so you're gonna let your line out, hold it with your finger, hold on a 45 degree angle, pass, get the tension, and you're gonna reel it in. You're gonna tug it to make it look like you have an injured fish and hopefully encourage your barra to come and get it. Sounds all right, let's give it a try. Oi, 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 I think that, I think that's the million dollar fish right there. Oi, there's a red tag over there. I think it's 20 meters away. Oh my god. Oi, we have to go catch it now. Oi, hurry up. Since Nathan's law follows a parabolic path, projectile motion can be used in order to find the velocity he'll need to cast his lure at in order to hit the targeted range. Since the minimum and maximum distances, launch angle, and time of flight are already known, this formula can be used to find the horizontal component of the velocity in which he'll need to cast his lure. Now, assu assuming that air resistance is so little that it's negligible in calculations, this formula can be then used to find that the minimum and maximum horizontal components will be 5 meters per second and 8 and 1 third meters per second, respectively. This formula can be used to find that the range in which he'll need to cast his velocity will be between 7.07 meters per second and 11.8 meters per second. Once the fish has been hooked onto Nathan's lure, he'll have to use his big crocodile muscles in order to reel it in. So now, the average burst speed of a barramundi is 2.5 meters per second. So to calculate its acceleration, you can assume that it reaches its burst speed in only one second, and therefore its acceleration is 2.5 meters per second per second. So now, to calculate the force that the barramundi can pull, the formula F equals MA can be used, assuming that the average mass of a barramundi is eight kilos. So now, using this formula, it's found that the barramundi will pull with a force of 20 newtons opposing Nathan's pull. So Nathan will have to pull with a force greater than 20 newtons in order to reel in the fish. Got to make sure my rod's at a 45 degree angle to optimize my chance of catching this million dollar barrel, but I got to act quick. So I'm looking to cast to about 15 and 25 meters out and get inside that circle with a radius of five meters. Let's give it a try. Oh, oh, it's so heavy. Oh, 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 I think I got it. Guys, I just bought the ring that I'm going to give to my girlfriend with the $1 million I just won from the $1 million bar competition. Here it is. Oh, it's lovely, ain't it? Well, I'm going to set it up and we'll see how it goes. Why do you bring me here? I got you this. It's beautiful. I know. Thank you. You're my everything, and maths made this possible. 